Okay, this is the chin tuck. Uh, the chin tuck is primarily for our cervical spine, okay? Um, there's not gonna be much crossover into anything else because we're really focusing on extending our cervical spine. Okay, so we're gonna start this position off laying on our backs, okay? What's important here is to have my hips touching, my shoulder blades touching, and the bottom of my skull where it kind of rounds out here, I want that touching the mat as well. And I want to make sure I keep that natural arc in my spine. I'm, I'm not trying, I'm trying intentionally not to press my spine into the mat. I just want to keep that natural curve. As I do the, as I do the exercise, the, the um, natural instinct is to press into the mat. And you want to resist that, okay? And make sure you keep that natural curve of your spine. Okay, so I like to think of my bottom jaw kind of like as a hinge, okay? This helps me. I put my fingers on my bottom jaw, and I think of this as a hinge here. Not where it actually is a hinge, but below that, right? At the very bottom point here, okay? So what I want to do, making sure that my head stays flat here, I want to tuck my chin and pull the top of my head towards uh, like I'm trying to pull it up, like as if there's a string coming through pulling it up. Like as if a string is coming from my jawline to the top of my head and I'm tucking my chin and elongating my spine. And I'm gonna hold that for five seconds and relax. It's hard to see the movement because it's very subtle, okay? But as you get used to it and you feel it, you'll feel your cervical spine extend, okay? Um, what's important here is to make sure your head don't come up off the mat, because if your head comes up off the mat, all you're doing is just bending your cervical spine to bring your chin to your chest, okay? You want to tuck your chin, pulling it up. Making sure the head keeps contact, natural curve at the bottom of the spine, my hips are down, my shoulder blades are down, back of my head's down, okay? Tuck, extend, five seconds and relax it, okay? It's like a little pivot point you'll feel. Okay, the movement is very subtle and I know it's probably a little bit hard to see from the camera, but all I'm doing is tucking and elongating, okay? Um, there's really no better way for me to explain that than I already did. Um, once you start actually physically doing it and you get used to that movement and, and feeling it, it, it gets it gets a lot easier. And that's the chin tuck.